Hey everybody, so I am back to discuss season 5 episode 3 of Saints and Sinners that literally just aired yesterday. I don't know about you all, but this episode, just when I think Saints and Sinners cannot shock us even more, they find a way to do so. I, first of all, I just want to say I am super, super happy that Paige is not only alive, but that she managed to get out of there with the help of Christy. She managed to get out of Dr. Kevorkian's hospital. I am super excited because for one she just deserves to you know it's just not right and then for two we have Angela who has been all over Jabari even before Paige's death in my opinion actually I think she was more so into Levi at the time like Angela just has a thing for other people's men I don't know what the what in the low self-esteem is going on with her but nonetheless I am super excited unfortunately Paige is maybe a little late because of the fact that Jabari just officially made things official with Angela however knowing Jabari the way he feels about Paige and that being the mother of his child, he will definitely be kicking Angela to the curb. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this entire thing plays out. And I do not take Paige as someone who will go down quietly when it comes to her relationship with Jabari and Angela, you know, being in the midst of things, especially since did y'all see how Paige took down Dr. Kevorkian? Okay, Christy tried. But when Paige got up, yo, know, she took down Dr. Kevorkian. And I want to give, you know, kudos to Christy because Christy wasn't always ethical. You know, she wasn't always ethical, but she stayed on top of the situation at the hospital and she definitely could have stayed silent and I guess because she knows Paige she got up and she stood up for her even though Dr. Kevorkian did overpower her with the assistance of Paige they managed to uh, take care of that whole thing thing however you know I don't see Dr. Kevorkian coming back after this episode however we do know that there is that police officer involved in this whole scandal of harvesting uh the organs of the women in Cyprus and that is the same officer that Christy approached in regards to the entire situation and then we see that he ultimately calls Rex who was also a part of it but keep in mind Rex has no idea now we know Rex is a lot of things okay Rex is definitely a criminal a murderer etc he's a lot of things but what I do believe is that Rex will not want to be a part of this situation if he knew what he was getting into because mind you he asked the officer who paid him for his delivery services and mind you his son Kendrick is a part of those delivery services he's one of the drivers now because he needs the money to support his wife who's the attorney who is now officially uh fired by upsurge but y'all probably seen that in an episode but nonetheless we know that Rex is a part of this whole harvesting of Oregon scheme but he isn't he doesn't know what he is a part of he just knows that he is transporting something very important that they're willing to pay him a lot of money for and so in the in this previous episode the officer tells him you don't want to know when Rex tries to ask what is it that we're transporting the officer said the less you know the better basically so I truly believe if Rex knew what was being done and how these women were being kidnapped off the streets of Cyprus and that he's a part of that whole thing that has been playing out on the news he definitely would not participate in it um so it is going to be interesting to see how this unfolds and what how will he react when he learns that he is a part of it you know because many of them on here Lady Leona Lady Ella and even Rex you know there's some trifling individuals so I you know I I want to say Rex wouldn't be a part of that but at the same time Rex is something else too but I just I don't see his character being someone who would want to be a part of women in Cyprus being kidnapped for their organs meanwhile we have Victor y'all and in this episode we learn because I don't know if you all knew or not I had no idea that Malik was not Victor's biological child but that in Indeed, he adopted Malik. So that's interesting to learn that. I had no no idea about that. But Victor is still using Lady Ella. And I mentioned that in my previous discussion for episode two, that I too felt like Victor had all this time to be Ella's 
father and suddenly when Malik has passed and his other daughter is in rehab suddenly he wants to turn to Ella to run up search so you can clearly tell his intentions are purely selfish but Ella is so excited to have to know her biological father to have a relationship with I guess a parent because she just recently learned that Leona was not her mother and rather she was her sister so I think Ella is just so excited not to mention who her father is you know he is uh, apparently a wealthy man with a very successful thriving company she's just very excited and she wants to get close to him and we can see that kind of being mentioned in this episode where she has this conversation with Rex like she just wants their feud to end because she wants to move forward with this relationship with her father and start this new life that she always dreamed of meanwhile Rex is like myself he's like girl he playing you you know he pretty much playing you and we see Rex confront Victor on that assumption like I you know I know Ella to be a strong woman who can normally see this stuff coming but for some reason she's basically put on her blinders when it comes to her own father and she can't see that you're playing her I'm paraphrasing but (laughs) that's pretty much what Rex was alluding to which is exactly what I said in my prior discussion so that's going to be interesting to watch uh play out while I do believe Rex will back up off of Ella I don't believe he'll ever stop caring for her so I do believe he'll continue to watch Victor not only as it pertains to what Victor does in conflict with his business in Cyprus but also because he cares about Ella and he's going to want to know what Victor is doing and what harm's way is he putting Ella or how is he using Ella so I truly believe while Rex may back off of Ella um as far as the feud goes I do believe he will stay on top of Victor and y'all know another big storyline in this season is the situation with Miles being up for uh or being a suspect for Malik's murder and he has an alibi which is Josie his former wife slash mother of his child Tamara's best friend so that's the reason why he doesn't want to use Josie as his alibi or let it be known that he indeed was not around to kill Malik because he has an alibi and his alibi just so happens to be the best friend of his ex-wife who he also cheated on while in a relationship with her not to mention Tamara and Josie are still best friends so that that whole situation y'all it really like gets on my nerves and I really don't want to go too much into it because to be honest Josie is seriously enabling Miles I think we can all see just how naive and ridiculous she is she sat up there and borrowed fifty thousand dollars from Rex out of all people and she did so by using her own club as collateral she has lost her mind over Miles and I that storyline it makes me sick to my stomach y'all because seriously Miles is just a big grown man a child who expects women to come to his rescue and I am actually going to stand with Tamara on this like I see that she just wants Miles to pay for everything that he has done to her personally the pain within her and y'all can call her bitter all y'all want to maybe there is some bitterness there but I can't even be mad at her because as I watch how this play out Miles is seriously a baby he does not take accountability and unfortunately I cannot put it all on him when he is surrounded by well he has a woman in his life like Josie who will literally lay down for this man knowing that he does not give a dang about her the way she gives a darn about him and she is clearly enabling him but it seems as though she's just so desperate to be able to claim him and have him around that she's willing to overlook the fact that he he won't even tell the world about her he's he's still afraid to tell Tamara about her and he can come up with as many excuses as he wants especially that Tamara is pursuing custody of their child so he may even say say well if I tell her that we are together then she's definitely going to take my child away like no if you want to be with Josie officially and you want it to be known and not make her a secret you will put it out there but unfortunately Josie is just one of those types where she's going to have to learn her lesson the hard way when it comes to Miles and believe me Miles is a big disappointment she will learn her lesson rather soon so it's going to be interesting um, especially since Tamara is experiencing so much close pain Uh, I didn't know her and the attorney was so close to each other Kendrick's wife she has no idea that Malik got uh Kendrick's wife pregnant she has no idea about that so it's going to be interesting to see how Tamara's character may begin to change I feel like we're going to see Tamara's character either she's going to get darker she's going to become darker and looking for vengeance definitely have trust issues after all of this stuff that she has gone through with close female friends and uh past men relationships but also 
if that doesn't happen and she seeks vengeance then I believe we may see an exit from that character soon because I feel like she's going to want to get out of Cyprus and get away from all that toxicity that she, unfortunately she has been subjected to so that's it let me know what you all think in the comment section let me know what your season predictions are or how you felt about this past episode and I'll talk to y'all soon peace